Hello everybody, I'm Igor Cavalera and we're here in London at my house and I'm gonna show you a little bit of my uh, secret laboratory. I'm a drummer. I play for many acts like uh, Cavalera Conspiracy, Bad Brick, Mix Hell, Soax, and a lot of crazy projects in my head. started with a present from Lima, my beautiful wife. So she gave me this little piece here, which is called the Gristleizer. Chris Carter from Trobin Gristle, he designed this. It was like a Christmas present. It was in a little case like this. And from that, I started building and adding pieces to it. Now I'm, I'm kind of like getting more and more into this it's a bit more like a monster now, but still it's a lot of fun because it's almost like a little puzzle. So I can add little things and I can take some stuff that I don't like it out. I think that's the fun about Eurorack or, or modular things like this, which is like, I didn't buy this whole thing a as it is. It was all built little by little. So I think it has a little more of a personality to it rather than just going to a store and, and buying it.
my setup, it's a bit, uh, I don't know, like if you can call it unorthodox, but it, it's just something that I, I, I feel comfortable with, you know, which is like not, you know, again, not something that you, it is to please anyone but myself, you know. Some of the stuff that I, I have here, it, it has a bit of like a collector's vibe to it. The gristalizer from, uh, it's like a limited edition. The plasma drive from uh, Erica together with, with the game changer guys from Latia. It's something that it's a bit limited, but again, it's, it's more about like taste, not really like going for, for something that to show off to other people. It's more like stuff that I really like to have in, in my rack. You know, this stuff I, I actually do play a lot with, you know. All the stuff that I did, the whole piece together, I play on everything pretty much. I use pretty much everything of it. And that's the fun of it, you know. It's not just the lights blinking there. They all have something to do with it. certain things that I like from my days of DJing. I just collect a lot of crazy samples and I loop things on the, on the CDJ. And then I use my mixer with some effects when I throw some stuff on the mixer here. I have like some uh, guitar pedals that I, I run through like a synth, a Yamaha synth with like a distortion pedal. And even like I have a gong behind me here that I do some noise with, uh, and then the whole thing, it has a brain which is like TR-8, uh, Roland drum machine that sends pretty much the clock for everything to be in time. That's kind of like how I, I like to keep everything in my world. But then again, it's very unorthodox. It's just how I like to do things, you know.
has definitely an emotional value to, to this for me because everything that it's here, a lot of it, I have to say, their presence from my wife to me, which I'm fortunate enough, you know, like this is one of the coolest things ever, which is this syncussion that she gave me. And then when we're in New York, she gave me also this amazing, it's insane, like a, it's a spring reverb that I run a lot of stuff through it. And then when I'm on tour, I also collect some stuff, like I was in Scotland and then I picked up with the guys from Instro, this uh, R bar. When I was in Berlin doing some stuff for Yamaha, I picked up the plasma drive, hanging out with, you know, with some people all there. So it's very personal. It's a bit of a, my uh, secret laboratory. I don't know, like I, I come home from all the touring, playing drums, I listen to some records, and then I make some music on, on this. This is kind of like my, uh, my sacred place at home, you know, that's, that's what I like to do when I'm off touring.